Hello, and welcome to what's going to be probably one of the longest series I do. Maybe, we'll see. So, I, like, I have been, like I said in my Warlords update video, I really want to get back into playing Warlords. So I spent some time on the forums, you know, asking people like, oh, what's, what's the class that I want to play? And I like gave them the description. I was like, I want to be super tanky, not super tanky, I want to be tanky enough that I don't die all the time. I want to deal some damage, but not a lot. Mostly I want to be alive. I want to be able to assist my allies, not necessarily heal them, but be an assist to them. Meaning that, you know, give them energy, give them defense, give them heals, you know, that sort of stuff. So, the class that was most recommended for me to play is Crusader. Now, I've played Crusader a bit. My Crusader, however, is level zero. So, I thought of a crazy idea where <laughs> I make a series of me getting Crusader to level 90. And then we can unlock uh, this stupid looking hat. Where is it? Look it. I mean, it does, I wish you could like take a look at it. Like, you know, a right click thing to. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Like, I I would love it if like as we got to the levels, like at, when we got to level 35, we could put this helmet on. Then when we got to level 70, we could put this helmet on. Then when we got to level 90, we could put that one on. But I'm not an MVP, so we don't have that option. Anyway, so the way this series is going to work is I'll record episodes here and there of me at different points in the thing, because it's going to be a lot of grinding off camera for me to get to level 90. Um, with that being said, I do have... 38, 3,800, no, 385,000 coins right now. I could throw those coins in the Crusader right now, probably get it close to level 60. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> the series would not be nearly as enjoyable. Maybe it won't be enjoyable at all anyway. But um, as long as it's getting views and everything, I will keep making it. So we're going to start off. The series and we are going to join our first battle in oh, they're all kind of empty right now I mean, it is kind of late at night we'll do domination though because it's most people we did not get the new map though all right we find ourselves in our first battle we fight for the blue side we must destroy the red. We must reclaim the valley. One point at a time. Here we are. We wait to be released into the battlefield for the bloodshed to begin. People are getting ready to mount up and ride into battle against the ravenous red team. We go. Most likely to the blacksmith. The first point, the crucial point, in winning this battle. And then in turn, winning the war. If the land would ever load. Of course, we've got to break RP to say that the land will load. These red teams already at the blacksmith. Many of them. They hurt. And we've already fallen because we're level zero. Luckily, due to some magic in this realm, we're able to respawn and get back into the fight. Our comrades have already taken the stables and they are working on the lumber mill as we speak. 
the mines and the blacksmith still remain unclaimed. The valley will be claimed for one side or the other. And that guy's going to get obliterated. Come on. You gotta know when to run. You gotta know when there's no bridge, but you still walk over it. Um, you also have to know when to f jump off the edge and go claim the black the mines. Um, but, you'll get down there and find out that your team is already working on it. So off we go. We have to claim the farm. We need a steady supply of food. Crucial to fighting a war to have a supply of food. Of course, again. Chasing him down in the water. We can't let anyone escape. Red team is working on taking the mines. But we are taking the farm. Ow. Just took fireball to the face. Where are they? They're over at the blacksmith most likely. We already hold the lumber mill. We must destroy this guy. The one of him versus the like three of us here. We can take him. Did we take him? We did take him. I am very low on health. Ow. Ow. Stupid flame burst. I am going to die. Spawn at the stables where an ally is getting or an enemy maybe. I don't know. Yeah. An enemy is getting beat to death. But that's because we're still farm despite the fact that I clicked stables. There we go. team has assaulted the lumber mill and my level 90 paladin friend is running away from me probably to go stop the lumber mill we shall follow him into battle oh I um lagged backwards like forever there there we go, we have defended the lumber mill. The smith. Right, we can take this guy. I might look like a level zero, but I'm not. Okay, he just destroyed him. Am I going to get the 10, 15 kills actually that I need? No, I will not. No, the stables. They're reclaiming what was once theirs. We must stop them. Come on, let me use the ability. I need to heal. There. Oh wait, they're reclaiming the stables. They're not reclaiming the farm. I went the wrong way. I think I can st spawn at the stables game. Spawn at the lumber mill though. Actually, we'll spawn at the lumber. 
It's a close match, though. One point turns the tide of this battle so quickly. Here stands just a bunch of people doing nothing to help the team. Why are they doing nothing? Because they're stupid. Red team has defended the stables, giving them the advantage. They also are heavily fortified on this point. Do something. Uh, why did I not respond? But we must do something to stop Red Team. We can't let it end like this. Our comrades have assaulted the stables and the mines simultaneously, leaving the Red Team with only the blacksmith. We are going to run invisibly down to the mine and try to assist any teammates that might need help down here. Like, from this guy. Oh my gosh, there's actually like, all of their guys in here. There's a huge, just mosh pit of death here. Great if I could find the person. Oh, we killed them. We have success. Ow. We did successfully defend them, and then that guy killed me. Oh, I think we're gonna lose the mines too. It looks like Red Team might claim this match as theirs. The valley will be lost. My horse will mount, but not actually mount due to whatever is going on. Trying to kill that guy. Just defend the farm and stop getting hit by insane critical damage. Well, I guess they're not insane. Not compared to what they once were, my god. We've assaulted many things, but it matters not. We lost our lead, and now we've fallen far behind this battle. Red team shall win in seven and a half minutes. But if we can manage to actually take the stables and keep it, we will regain our lead. Mines, that guy says. It's foolish to go for the mines. We need to defend. I am stuck inside of a block. Five, five frames. Ow. I don't want to go across the bridge alone. I guess we're going to the stables. So we managed to claim the stables, but only for a short period of time as the world loads in front of me slower than I am running. They've managed to keep the blacksmith, one of the most crucial points in the battlefield. As the central location, it's hard to do much without the bridge loading and being able to actually see where you're running. There, we managed to... My god, what is going on with my computer right now? Thank you. 
Where? Like, I had like 15 guys here. With me. Got him in the... Was he dead? No. He must have jumped off. The thing is, we have the blacksmith surrounded. We should be able to easily storm it from all fronts. And not get killed by the level 90 shaman standing on it. I am running away. It is foolish to try to take that with um, all those guys there. Ow! Keep running, Amaranth. They'll try to take the mines. Apparently I wasn't the only one on the team who thought we should take the mines, as a lot of our teammates are down here. There we go. Who is shooting water? No, let me use my healing ability. I'm dead. Again. My god, they just come in full force the moment that you take something from them. I don't remember where we chose to spawn, but I think I'm gonna go to the lumber mill. I mean, I guess the mines are also. This is, this is death. Instant death right there. Nope. We have somehow managed to stop them. We have wounded their plans. Take our mines. They may have the ability to create the weapons in the smith, but we have all the resources for the weapons. To the farm! I hope the rest of our team is also heading towards the farm. Wow. Fastest horse in the west. Also, I helped. <laughs> Now they're taking the lumber mill from us again. We only have to stay for a minute. We can't let them just keep taking points. Because if they take the lumber mill in the next 26 seconds, they'll most likely win the game in the end. seconds and we have won the match on our quest to win the war we have defeated the blue team and the red team and we are taking just random points at this point trying to kick them out of our lands they're not here we have won the day has been saved not due to any of our teammates, though, because these were all people on the other team. Well, Amaranth was on our team. 93k. Good job. Victory for the blue team. One step closer to winning the war. Right, Gunther? Let us salvage the weapons that we have reclaimed. See if we have any blue ones. Crusader. We do not. We can salvage all the blues then. Alright, so with that quest having been completed, we have won a match of warlords, giving us 5,000 coins, and we have 
win, won a match of domination, giving us another 2,500. So we can upgrade 2,500. So we have 7,500 coins to work with here. We probably want to increase inspiring present. Duration is increased by that. Effective movement speed is increased by that. Holy Radiance cost is reduced. Restores more energy. Concentration damage goes up. Alternatively, we could upgrade our health and stuff. Those are cheaper. But I think we probably want to go with some skills. So we can upgrade about uh, five skills. No, four skills. Or at least we can upgrade four of them to level one. We could upgrade like one to level two and then something else to level one. Let's increase our ultimate. Let's increase our first skill, our second skill. And let's go with light infusion. There we go. We are now a level 4 paladin. Four levels closer to achieving level 90. And our quest to end the war that rages on in the world of warlords. As for now, we shall leave our hero. And we shall come back and do another game. Another battle. Some other day.